Hey guys, Austin here from the Nashville Miller Strategy Battle Game Group, and tonight we are going to be painting uh, part one of our Tardial Sylvan Elf model, um, which came out recently for, uh, with Legolas. Um, and so what I've done already, just to show you, is uh, I've got my Tardial model here. And as you can see, uh, what I did is I did a, uh, a black prime, and then I did Zenithal highlights from above, so you can see the white um, there on the front. Uh, so that way it gives you kind of shading uh, to start out the model. And then what I did is I went back and I did a base coat of brown um, for the dirt work. And so um, for tonight's uh, first part of the video, I'm going to start by working on the base. I want to get the base uh, primed up and uh, ready before I start on Tariel's model. So uh, first things first, what we're going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to paint this log. I'm going to do a base coat of, of brown on this log, and then I'm going to do a uh, kind of a white highlight inside the log here, um, uh, just for highlighting. And then uh, I'm going to paint this branch that she's on, and then there's a vine that goes up that I'm going to be painting here as well as a lighter brown. And then once we get done with that, I'm going to go back and start painting the base. Um, so as you can see here, there's like a rock here that I'm going to paint, and then a twig. Um, and so we're going to get this base started tonight, and then uh, tomorrow night we'll do the part two, and we'll start on Tariel's uh, model here with a base coat. So uh, if you're joining us, uh, please leave a like uh, on the video. Uh, say hello in the uh, chat, and I uh, hope everyone's having a great night. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, share this with our group, and then we'll get started. All right, so I'm going to share the stream real quick with the um, Nashville Middle Earth group. All right, so we are almost ready. I'm gonna post this in one other place on my on my uh, Facebook page.
All right, so now that I've got that all posted, uh, we will go ahead and get started. So um, I'm going to put Tariel uh, on the Citadel base that I use to start with. And I'm going to plug my phone in so it doesn't die. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. All right, so first what we're going to do is I'm going to get a um, kind of like a wood brown for the log um, that you see here on Tariel's model. Um, so we're going to paint the log that she's standing on first. And then once we get, um, actually, you know what? I'm going to start with the actual base first, because um, that way if I hit the log, I can go back and do the do the base. And that's what I'll do. All right. Actually, no, I will do the log first. All right, so I'm going to use a uh, kind of a wooden brown uh, color here to start out with. Uh, I'm going to use a color called Dryad Bark. Uh, this is a paint by Citadel. Um, this is a base coat, so it's going to give us um, that dark brown color that we want for the base wood. And then uh, I'll go back and do some highlights on it. I'm gonna start by giving it a good shake. I'm gonna get some music going. And stirring going. All right. Watching over I've got a Whip palette here. I'm going to add some wire to real quick just to make sure it stays fluid while I'm painting. You can see my wet palette here. This is just in the Tupperware dish, and I've got my paints in there on a piece of uh, some wax paper. So I'm going to take um, one of my finer brushes. Start out with on the log. We're gonna do about a two to one uh, mixture of dryad bark to water here for the log. And I've got a notebook here that I keep all my notes in so that way I can go back and uh, know how I did it. Get my pen out. All right, so I'm going to put my paintbrush in some water real quick. Get my brush wet before we get started. All right, I'm gonna take my dryad bark here to paint the log that Tariel stands on. Uh, start out with the base coat. I'm gonna mix that here in my painting dish, a wet palette, I should say. Add a little bit more uh, paint to the water, make it a little bit thicker. All 
All right. So now that I've got the paint mixed about two to one with water, I'm going to go ahead and start painting uh, the log that Toriel is standing on here from uh, The Hobbit. As you can see here. So we're going to start with the log. And then once I get done with the log, we'll go and start painting the base that she's standing on. So if you're joining us, uh, post hello in the chat and let me know what you're up to tonight. I'm not going to be really careful here because I'm going to go back and paint Tariel, but we want to make sure that the, the paint is uh, pretty fluid. So that way uh, we don't obscure any of the details of the log that she's standing on. We're just going to give it all a good base coat on the log here. If you're joining us, uh, drop a hello in the chat and let me know what you're up to tonight. I absolutely love this Tariel model uh, that was released this year alongside with Legless. And I, I like it because they're dynamic poses. I think it's, uh, I love those poses when they look like they're in action. So I'm starting from the top and going down. Dryad bark, bark here from Citadel to line um, to paint this Tariel model. We want to do the log first because uh, if we hit any parts of Tariel while we're painting, uh, then we can just go back and paint over Tariel. Not have to worry too much about it. I'm going to give it about two, two coats of paint here. I know many people got mixed opinion, opinions about Toriel from the movie since she wasn't a character from the book song that they just made up, but um, I think she had some really cool parts in the movie. And uh, she's a, I love the model that she has. And I actually need to go back and rewatch the Hobbit movies again. I watch Lord of the Rings a lot more than I do the Hobbit movies, just because I like the Lord of the Rings movies better. But definitely need to go back and, and rewatch the Hobbit movies again. Many all right, so you can see the brown's coming in pretty good on the log. I'm going to leave this hole right here uh, open, and we're going to make that like a light white color um, to show the inside of the log. As you would if you ever break a log open, you you know that the inside is lighter than the than the bark.
Making sure that I'm getting that I've gotten all the barks, and some of these pieces are kind of hard to see. All right, so I've gotten just about hit a couple of these spots down here in the bottom that I missed. All right, so there you can see um, Ariel's log has now been base coated. I'm going to add a second coat of paint to the log. Uh, so that way it just gives it more of that dark brown color that I'm going for. And then I'm going to hit the inside of that log there with like a light uh, white color. All right, so here we go with the second base coat. So just about put a second base coat on here. Hit a couple of spots that I missed. All right. You can see the log that she's standing on has now been completely base coated in brown. Now I'm going to hit the inside of the log right here um, to give it that kind of light yellow woody color. And we'll blend it in a little bit with the um, with the with the brown log that I've already got. That way, it doesn't look like two just complete contrasting colors. I just want to wash my paintbrush.
going to grab my brush washer. So now I got my brush washed, I'm going to let it dry. And for the inside of that log, I kind of find like a yellow, light woody color. Rackard flesh might be a good, good one. I'm gonna pull that one out just in case I use it. Andrew dust is another good option if you wanted to do the inside um, of the log. Or ungore flush, that's another one. So many great options to choose from. Framing school is another good option, I think. about used all the colors that I've got. Look through them all at least. I think Screaming School is a good option. Might go with that one. See how it looks. Green. I want to paint the inside of the wood screaming school color. It's like a good like off white brown color. I think it'll go well as the inside of the, the lighter wood.
I'm just going to mix a very little bit of this. And I'm going to do a fine detail brush here because I'm not going to need very much of it. Shake it up, give it a good shake. I'm gonna paint the inside of the log right here with the uh, Screaming Skull color. Skull, whatever you want to say. A little bit, make it a little bit thicker. I did about a one to one with the screaming school. I'm going to do like a two to one now. So you can see how that turned out. It looks pretty good for the inside of the log there. So now I've got that done. I'm gonna let that dry. Add another, add another base coat. All right, so you can see I've got the, the white inside of the log right there now. I did this with a screaming skull color. I'm gonna let this dry for just a minute. I'm gonna do a second coat in there. And then once we do that, I'm gonna dry brush the ground around the log um, to kind of give it a, a dirt, kind of a like a gravel kind of look for the, the ground that she's on. And then I'll do a dry brush of the stones that are on uh, the ground around it. So now I'm just doing another base coat on the inside of the log just to make sure that it, I really get that, that off white color inside the log. Show the live wood that's still in there. Or it'll standing on top of. All right, so you can see that there. See the inside of the log there, she's standing on. We'll go back and we'll add a little bit of 
some dry brushing in there once that dries towards the end. So that was, I think it looks uh, pretty good there with the Screaming Skull. I'm gonna wash my paintbrush off now and then we'll start with the dry brush. I need to take a before picture of my Tariel as well, so that way people see that I, uh, we're doing a painting contest right now in our um, in a group that I'm a part of, and um, we're doing before and after photos. So I want to make sure I get a before photo of Tariel to show what she looked like before, and then do an after. All right. Now I'm going to use, I think still probably still Legion drab um, to give the dirt kind of that off brown color. I'm gonna find my still Legion drab. Even you know, Bane, Bane Blade Brown would be a good one too to dry brush with. I think we're going to do a Bane Blade Brown here for a dry brush of the soil so that way it kind of gives it a two-tone color for the for the brown. We're going to do a, a light dry brush of the Let's see what grays I have. I might, I might do a gray, we'll see. I'm kind of undecided with what I want to use here. Even storm vermin fur would be good too, like a soil soil look.
I decide on what color I want to go with here. Kitty cats are watching. Watching the stream too. All right, so we're going to do a, dawn, a layer of Dawn Stone on top of the brown that I base coated with. We're going to do a dry brush here. Let me get my dry brush out. And we want to get into some kind of tight areas here. I'm going to try to get a small brush to dry brush with. I'm going to shake up my Dawnstone. All right, so what we're gonna do with our with my dry brush here is I'm just gonna dip it into my Dawnstone and then I'm gonna get most of the paint off to where I'm only just hitting the highlights of the soil, the raised portions of it. And I give it a two-tone look. And you just wanna get, you wanna get most of the paint off the brush, hitting the soil. It's not coming off super strong.
I'm not a huge fan of the gray, so I'm going to go with like a Bane Blade Brown. Uh, the brown, the gray is nice for like the stone and stuff that I'm going to do. Try out and see how the Bane Blade Brown does instead. Shake. Just lightly hitting soil here around the base. Let me give it a two tone look. All right, so now that I've got the base uh, done in Bane Blade Brown, give it kind of like a light soil texture. I'm gonna hit up the stonework now with like a dark gray. There's a few stones um, on the base, so I'm gonna grab a dark gray and then we'll go up from there. We'll start with like an eshin gray, and then we'll do some highlights from there.
All right, so I'm gonna use the Eschen gray to start out with from Citadel Paint uh, to paint a dark gray on the stones. And I'm just going to take a, a fine detail brush here and uh, just gonna use just an itty bitty bit of paint um, on these stones since they're so tiny. I'm gonna use a fine detail brush from Army Painter. Do about again a two to one paint to water mixture here. Just water it down just a little bit. All right. So I'm going to hit the stonework up. Right, so now that I've hit the stones, you can see the gray on the stones there. And I give it again just some differentiation on the base. Wash my brush off. I'm going to use my other dry brush here. It's a smaller dry brush. Um, I'm going to use this to set the highlights of the stone that I just did. Um, and I'm going to do, so I started with a dark gray. Now we're going to go up to light gray to hit the edges. And Domstone is going to be pretty good. Very sear, though. That's a good one. We'll use gray sear here. Use some highlights.
All right. So for this, I'm just going to give my gray sear a good shake, and then I'm going to just hit the highlight, the edges of the stone. Just to give it some kind of definition. And again, we're gonna get most of the paint off this brush. We don't want to smother what we just painted. Just very lightly hitting the stonework. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and do a edge highlight on the stones to give it uh, some definition. And I'm gonna do that with uh, the uh, gray sear here as well. Take a fine detail brush.
All right, so now that I've done the edge highlights on the stonework, um, next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and do some light brown highlights on the wood. Let's I'm actually going to go back and continue doing the, so I did the um, light gray on the rocks. I'm going to do a light off brown on the edges of the, of the twigs. Do a Bane Blade Brown highlight on the wood. Give it some definition. I'm gonna do this up and down the edge of the log.
I think instead of doing a um, Using. Instead of using Stilegion Drab, I think I'm going to do a Xandri Dust instead. So like an edge highlight. Wash the brush off real quick. Doing the edge highlights on the log. I'm just hitting the high spots on it.
So I'm almost done with the edge highlights, just finishing up here. Far away, it looks like it's got, you know, some contrast to it. You can see that here. If you turn away, you can see the, looks like the root has got some contrast to it, which is what we want. I've got some here on the back side too. That's looking Pretty happy with how it's looking there. I'm gonna add a little bit more. The other logs that are on the ground. Wash my paintbrush off. I'm going to go back to the ground that I started with on the log. I'm going to go back and hit up some of the edges of it. I was kind of outlining the edges of the log so it gives it again some definition to it. Makes it look at more make it makes it look more realistic. You can see there. So I kind of painted the dark brown in these cracks right here, there, right there. And then around the edge of the logs, so that way it gives it that outline of definition that we want. So now what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to add some um, shrubbery and stuff to the base um, to kind of, again, give it some more livelihood, make it look like it's living. And I think we're going to call that done uh, for tonight for the base. And then we will get started on Tariel tomorrow. All right, so I'm gonna go and look for my shrubs now in my hobby closet.
this is my I'll be back here. It's got some got some shrubs and some stuff to add on to the base of it so that way it'll give it give it some life. got some gamer grass here. This is some wild grass. I'm going to stick some of this on there. And I've got some like yellow tufts of grass here as well. I'm going to take some of this uh, wild grass here and I'm going to kind of pull it off and add it to the base. Now, this is gamer's grass um, that I got from um, over in the UK. But uh, if you go to your local hobby shop, a lot of these places will have stuff as well. All right, guys, so there you can see I've added some tufts of grass there, and I'll probably cut it up a little bit. We will call it there for tonight, guys. Thank you all for um, watching with us tonight. Uh, stay tuned for our part two tomorrow where we start the base coats on Tario. And if you like the video, make sure you like it. Um, so thank you all, and we will talk to you soon. Bye.